Now we'll talk about question number four, children. Let's see. Suppose you are writing. Oh, fourth is over, children. Huh? Fourth is over. Now we'll talk about fifth question, children. It is you spill a bucket of soapy water on a marble floor accidentally. Would it make it easier or more difficult for you to walk on the floor? And why? See, what's the question, children? I'll be repeating it once again. I am reading it once again, suppose, no, you spill a bucket, okay, you spill a bucket of soapy water on a marble floor accidentally, would it make it easier or more difficult for you to walk on the floor and why? So, this was the question and uh, in the question it is being asked that you are walking uh, the marble floor is there and there by mistake you have uh, drawn uh, what you have they are saying that you have dropped mm. spill ok you have dropped or not dropped you have spilled a bucket full of soapy water ok that means a full bucket of soapy water is here and the floor is marble. So, will you be able to walk properly or something will be there some problem will be there ok. So, would it, made, would it make it easier or more difficult for you to walk? I do not think so that answer should be written by me because then uh, I, 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 I know that actually that this point will be very clear and already it is very clear to you. The, uh, see that marble floor is there on that one bucket just imagine one bucket soapy water. So much of soap, so much of the floor will become totally slippery. When the, when the floor has become slippery obviously then you won't be able to move isn't it so what is happening friction is getting reduced they have asked after that that why you won't be able to walk properly because on the if the floor is slippery then friction will be reduced and we need friction for walking okay so uh, will you be able to walk properly on the marble floor where one bucket of soapy water is being spilled so, no, we, we cannot walk properly, we won't be able to walk properly on the sleepy floor, okay, where uh, on, or on the soapy marble floor because the friction will get reduced due to slow soapy water and thus because of less friction, okay, reduced friction, it won't be very easy for us to walk, okay. So, I will write the answer, okay. So, we will write which question number it is. It is question number 1, okay. No, we, we will not be able to walk properly on the soapy marble floor ok. Why we will not be able to walk properly children? We will not be able to walk properly as what is being there? What is being spilled over there? Lot of soapy water is there and soapy water will reduce the friction. So, no, we would not be able to walk properly on the soapy marble floor because the friction will be reduced due to soapy water ok we will not be able to walk properly because of the soapy solution which is being spilled on the floor ok what will happen children the floor will become slippery whenever slippery see I will tell you one thing where friction will originate friction for origination of uh, friction the surface should be rough ok. So, if the surface is rough friction will increase 
but as due to the use of soapy water due to the use of soapy water the surface has become very smooth ok. So, you can add one more line because the friction because here you can write soapy water reduce the what the make the surface very smooth ok. When the surface will become smooth obviously friction will be reduced. So, you can add this line also soapy water makes the surface smooth and friction and so friction will be and smooth and friction will also be reduced. Is any no need to write twice just you can put the points and you can write that why uh, friction will be reduced because friction originates on the rough surface. No solid surface is totally uh, smooth ok always some roughness is there and more the roughness is there more friction will be created and if the roughness is less that means the surface is more smooth then friction will be reduced ok. So, this was our question number 5 children now I will talk about question number 6. So, what is question number 6 children? Question number 6 is explain why sportsmen use shoes with spikes ok. Now, I am I am uh, reading it again children uh, where it has gone. Explain why sportsmen use shoes with spikes ok. So, children why we are able to walk? We are able to walk due to friction ok. When friction will be created if the surface is rough then friction will be created more ok. So, if the shoes has got uh, spikes, so what will happen? The roughness between the shoes and uh, the friction, the friction between the shoes and the ground will increase and it will increase the friction ok. And what is happening? So, why we are using, uh, why the shoes are being used with the spike shoes, why spike shoes are used children? So, that the uh, grip between the floor, the ground and the person get increased ok. So, I will just uh, write the answer over here. So, question number 6, sport shoes with spikes are used as spikes increases the grip between the friction between the <laughs> between the shoes and the ground ok. See we are able to walk on the surface because friction exists ok. We would not be able to walk uh, if the friction is not there see absolute friction area could not be created, but almost zero friction area can be created ok, but friction will be there. So, now why the grips shoes the shoes are used uh, by the sportsman which kind of shoes are used children? The shoes with which has got good spikes, why those are used just to increase the grip, so that then they do not fall very easily, but you know to walk with the spike shoes is also not very easy children first you have to bring yourself in the you know that habit of walking uh, or running with that kind of shoes ok. And uh, obviously, you might be rowing that for every sports different kind of shoes are there is not it. If we talk about badminton shoes th those are indoor shoes because basically badminton is an indoor game is not it. So, if you are playing badminton indoor, indoor as an indoor game then you have to use different shoes ok. Those shoes would not help you to play football, 
football shoes will be quite different that means it is different shoes are being chosen according to the depending upon the sports okay but the but the function of all the shoes but the uh, you know reason why spike shoes are used is only to increase the grip okay between the uh, between the surface and the body that that uh, like you know the grip will be increased and so it will make easy to walk just few changes i will write over here children it will increase the friction okay so sport shoes with spikes are used as spikes increases the friction between the shoes and the ground and better grip and it and it provides okay it provides better grip okay so it was very simple but while writing i didn't i missed one uh, word okay so why the spikes are there spikes are there to give the better grip okay and so that the person do not fall and can run can play easily okay so this was about the question number 6 now we'll talk about the next question children the next question is question number 7 ikbal has to push a lighter box and seema has to push a similar heavier box on the same floor okay now see uh, while uh, studying this lesson also i gave you example that suppose if we take the two boxes okay and both the boxes are exactly same okay but the floor is different okay we have to we have taken two similar boxes but the floor is different one uh, child is moving the box uh, on the uh, which kind of on the uh, like you know very smooth surface and the other one is pushing the box uh, on the very rough surface maybe concrete road so where the uh, less friction will be there on the smooth surface the friction will be less and so it will become easier for the child who is pushing the box from this the uh, smooth surface but now the question is what the question is like suppose two boxes are there children a and b two boxes are there okay now what they are saying the floor is same okay we took the example of the different floor like here the boxes are same and if it is a marble floor and this one is concrete so obviously here it will become easy to move but now this case is different here the floor on like floor for both the surfaces uh, it is same only but there is difference in the box a and b b one is very heavy okay b1 is very heavy so which one okay who will be able to move the box very properly see now when i'm saying that this box is very heavy that means more uh, you know this when the box is kept over here okay the box is kept over here mass is more so the more force okay more uh, pressure will be exerted by this box towards down side okay so when the pressure is coming over here for longer time and more pressure is coming so what will happen here interlocking will increase here interlocking will increase and then it will become more difficult to move the heavy box okay so okay so this i cannot write the answer over here so this is the heavy box and it will be there for longer period okay if it is it see when the mass is more okay so more pressure will be exerted so this this will increase the interlocking between the two surfaces okay because the like because mass is more more pressure more force will be exerted and so interlocking will increase over here well this one is very light so less mass less pressure and so interlocking will be not so very like it won't be very strong and so it will be easy to move the lighter box rather than the heavier box so i'll write the answer for question number 7 or uh, before that please note this down so that i can rough and then write the next answer okay so we'll talk about now next question okay we have not written the answer number uh, it is 7 okay yes ikbal has to push a lighter box and seema has to push a similar heavier box on the same floor who will have to apply a large force and why 
okay so what we discussed that sema will be applying more force isn't it so sema what is the question number it is the question number is 7 okay question number 7 sema will apply that only they have asking na what who is applying more force children yes so name i was confirming about sema will apply more force okay sema will apply more fo force as her box is heavier okay Be because due to mass the interlocking interlocking will increase as more force is acting downwards so children what is the answer children the answer is sema will apply more force as her box is heavier this is the first part of the answer that who will apply more force so sema will apply more force okay so why because due to mass the interlocking will increase okay that because the pressure okay the force is there which is exerting uh, downwards pressure okay so increase as more force is acting downwards okay so interlocking that means the uh, uh, you know contact uh, between the two surfaces will increase because of, because the mass is there and force is been exerted to like na to the force is downwards and so interlocking will increase and when interlocking will increase then what will happen it will be more difficult to move the box why because it is heavy okay so this was our question number 7th now i'll talk about the question number 8 so what is the question number 8 children explain why the sliding friction is less than the static friction okay explain now question number 8 children now what has to be explained children explain why static friction is more than the sliding friction explain why the static friction is less okay we can say this question we, we can uh, take this question in that both the ways like oh, why static friction is more than the sliding friction or why sliding friction is lesser than the uh, static friction see children i have discussed this in before also that the uh, friction increases if the if the body is in uh, stationary position okay now when body is here it is not moving okay so the two surface are in contact a firm interlocking between hills and valley will take place but once the this once this box start moving when it is moving this contact between the two surfaces is not is now not as strong as it is kept in the first condition this is the first condition when the box is kept on some surface now as it is kept now when we have to bring this into movement so what is there interlocking is very strong it is difficult to bring certain substance into motion this is static uh friction now when the box is moving when the box is moving this is what this is a uh, sliding friction when the body is already moving see when i am moving my legs my legs are not for longer time uh, they are not in contact for, like you know at one place only okay so contact is being broken again and again with the hills and valleys between the hills and valleys and so sliding friction is lesser than the static friction for explaining this i gave you the example of car also that when car is in uh, stationary position when suppose a car has stopped working okay now it is required to push the car 
when the car has to be pushed in the beginning it is very difficult to bring the uh, car into motion but once when it start moving okay once when the car starts moving then to continue that motion okay it becomes easy that is quite easier why because now body is sliding on the other surface okay one body is sliding on the other surface and so the contact between the two surface okay the contact between the two surfaces is not for the longer time it is moving okay it is moving so again again the that uh, contacts are break uh, getting broken up and new are forming and again it is breaking up okay so how can we write children that okay so how can we write children that friction is created friction is created due to the interlocking of the two surfaces okay interlocking okay friction is created due to the interlocking of the two surfaces now in sliding friction the body do not remain in contact with the surface with the surface for longer time okay where is when the box is not in motion stronger interlocking is formed okay so friction is created due to the interlocking of the two surfaces that means between the valleys and the what uh, hills and valleys okay now uh, now in sliding friction the body do not remain in contact with the surface for the longer time because see when i am moving my uh, body is not in contact with the surface at one place only because i am moving when i am moving so what is happening my uh, my legs are again again they are coming in contact with the surface at different different places again the that interlocking is being broken and again new one is formed and so i am able to walk when we have to push a box again to bring the box to bring the box from stationary position to the into motion is difficult but when we are already pushing a box then it becomes easier to slide a box because now the context the interlocking is becoming what it is becoming weaker because it is not there the interlocking is not there for longer time okay so what is there children the two things are there see if the sliding friction we can see that sliding friction is lesser than the static friction because in static friction the motion is not there okay now when the motion is not there the contact between the two surface is more interlocking is more and so what static friction will be higher but in sliding friction the contact is not for longer time okay the interlocking is again again getting broken up and so what sliding friction is lesser than the static friction okay so hope you understood this uh, answer so now we'll talk about the next question i will talk about the question number 9 so please note this we'll talk about the next question